370 miles later, we are coming to Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, to pick up a Zastava 750, aka Ficho. We are gonna meet a guy named Pep. Uh, he imported about, I'm gonna say, 20 Zastavas from ex Yugoslavia. And uh, this one needs a transmission and a bunch of other work, but it's pretty solid and I just want it because it's made in the same company, same factory that my Yugo was. And plus, just reminds me of back home. I grew up with them, little things. It's pretty much a copy of Fiat 600 that I got but it was built in different country. And uh, I've been looking for one for a while, but they usually go for some crazy money that I don't want to spend because they all need work pretty much. And this one needs a transmission and some other stuff. Uh, I've known Pep for a few years now. We've talked, we never actually met. And uh, this time we're gonna meet. And uh, check out all his collection that he's got, grab some food and put the car in a trailer and then I gotta go back. But anyway, I'm very excited. Plus, this is my 40th birthday present from my wife. Anytime when a wife said, uh, you can go buy yourself a car, hell yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and uh, I can't wait. I got a few miles to go and I'll make a video over there and we'll put it all together. All right, see you later, guys. God, just made it to Milwaukee, so Wisconsin. Oh, sorry. A few hours ago, no, you're fine. I'm just gonna go quick, take a video of all these beautiful cars. And here's my new toy. Need some work, but I'll get it done. Pep, where are you hiding? I'm hiding staying on the Yeah, <laughs> uh, first time we met, we'd been talking for a few years, I believe. Just uh, on Facebook and all. And uh, we a couple weeks ago, we started talking about extra car you have, might have for sale. And after what we had one day of negotiation, we came to an agreement. So here I am, 380 miles later. I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, unknown location where he keeps all these <laughs> toys. And uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and. Uh, what made you import all these Zastavas and how many you imported over the years? Uh, well, I came over to America when I was two years old. Uh, but uh, from 76 to 83, I went back every summer and uh, gradually not just kind of fell in love with my heritage and my relatives and everything else, but I fell in love with all the cars. I thought they were amazing. Coming from all the big cars in the 70s, in America, it was just amazing to see how small these things were, how fun they were. And then one day I thought, well, I'll be old enough to drive one. The driving age is 18 over there. Uh, I did drive a few when I, when I was there last in 83. But then, um, all kinds of circumstances. In 2016, I decided I needed a Tristach. I never even got a ride in a Tristach in all my times uh, going and visiting there. Even though a neighbor across the street from us had one, he wouldn't even give us a ride. <laughs> it was a Yugoslav Mercedes, so I guess I wasn't worthy. Yep. So I said, one day I'm going to have me a Tristach, and uh, I decided that the only way that was going to happen is if I bring it here to America myself. So I brought that one, this orange uh, feature here, and the white feature that Alan is taking home to uh, Iowa. He's taking it home to uh, give it new life. Uh, it ended up without a transmission. Super long story. All the cars, obviously, everybody that loves cars, they all have a long story associated with them for how they got there and everything. But uh, I couldn't get a transmission over here. Um, I already have, like I said, two of them left. I had three of them. Uh, so I needed to go to a new home. I needed to get life breathed back into it. It needed to be on the road instead of just sitting here in a warehouse for the rest of its life. 
So we came to terms quickly after talking on the phone for an hour and a half. Yep. Um, I, I felt a kinship and a, and a relationship with him just in that conversation that, hey, we're from the same country uh, from way back when, even yep. though it doesn't exist anymore. But I felt this connection, and I felt that he should have the car, and, uh, and, and I felt that it should live. And, and be driven. So I look forward to what magic he's going to do it. The cars he's done are just amazing. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. Oh my God, you're the king of America. <laughs> uh, those are just oh, little cars. Those little cars, the little, uh, what, what do you call the, the little red one? Fiat Busa. Fiat Busa. That thing is hot, beautiful, and yep. everything. And I can't wait to see what you do with this one uh, and which way you go with it. But in either way, in either case, it needed, it needed a new home, it needed a new family. I'm keeping a stock. <clears throat> <clears throat> Probably not. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna, yeah, I don't know if you're gonna keep, be able to keep yourself from uh, uh, from uh, doing something to it, boosting it a little bit in one way or another. Yeah, I will put a. But that's what I'm saying. It needed to go to home, and I couldn't have found a better person uh, to 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 be that uh, uh, new host for it and new owner for it. And I'm, I'm just, it's sad to see it go. Even though you know, I don't. I really need it. I've already got, like I said, brought over three. You can always come and visit. I'll give you a ride. Oh, we'll definitely you'll, come. You'll be here. way cooler than what it is right now. Oh, yeah. I promise you that. I'll keep it in the family for a long time. Oh, we're definitely. I'm definitely gonna come. So, how many cars did you import over the years? Well, I brought over nine, and I had two that never were imported. I had a '59 Fiat mm -hmm. that we bought over there and then resold uh, there, so it never got to America. And then I had a, uh, a purple version of this kit, but it was done up. Uh, to be more sporty, it had golden wheels, wider tires, uh, shaved door handles, yep. uh, more comfy, sporty seats. Uh, it was beautiful. I, uh, for a lot of different reasons, I had to give up on that one and sell it. That car, all the proceeds from that car went to a special needs school outside of Paglia. Oh, well, that was nice of you. Yeah, that accepts uh, um, you know kids of any sort of uh, physical disability or development issue. Um, so I, I did that in memory of my daughter. Um, so this was a way to, uh, when I brought him over, it was a way to kind of uh, help change focus, help give me something else to think about uh, because she was sick since 2008 with a deteriorating um, um, genetic disorder. She passed away. In Sorry about your loss, man. So that was kind of the motivation. And had I not brought over the cars, people say I'm crazy for bringing them over. I said in the worst case, I'd be the largest Zastava collector in North America. And I, wasn't and I think you are. <laughs> I don't know if I still am. I'm I gonna, think I'm you be, are. I'm going to be down the four. You're trying to beat the Polish and Russians in Chicago. Yeah. They well, have a lot of... Those guys set a high bar. Yeah, I think me and you are going to have to uh, get together and start beating them. <laughs> yeah, we got to start. Yeah. start and step up our games. Yeah, I need a partner. We got to beat those yeah. guys. Yeah. I still want that feature combi, and I think you need one too. And that would be fun to have. Yeah, matching feature combis. That'd be great. Yeah. All right. So I'm tell me, we'll tell me a little bit about this one. Let's start from. Well, this one is an '83 Zastava feature. It was done by a, a guy uh, uh, just outside of Chicago who worked for Zastava. Who every year tries to find a, an original uh, first owner, original color, and then he spends the whole winter season uh, upgrading them and restoring them. And then uh, in the summer, he puts them up for sale. So this one, as you can see from the windshield, was never even registered yep. to, to be driven. Uh, so like I said, he just does them for his own hobby and pleasure. And I happened to meet him. Uh, I'm not even sure how exactly I met him because he was not on the Internet. Yep. Oh, I think he had a yellow version um, that sold to, to somebody in France. And I traced back to him. I saw him went to take a look at it with a friend of his in 2016, and I bought it, and he helped me bring over this one, the Pistach over here, this red one, and, and Alan's white feature. <laughs> and this is the one you guys use in the movie. And this one's in a movie, it's featured in a movie called uh, uh, Corridor. Uh, okay. You can follow the movie and see a bunch of uh, uh, previews and things where the car is featured at CorridorFilm.com, mm -hmm. uh, so you can see it in action. Uh, you can follow me on, on uh, Facebook if you don't at Pep Zastava. Yep. Uh, there's tons of pictures from the movie set and everything like that because I was the behind the scenes guy, so I felt I might as well post Oh, yeah, you were. I know, I know everybody probably <laughs> with all the pictures, but whatever. So, this one's a movie star. Uh, the movie is expected to be done uh, sometime in 2022 and go on the uh, festival circuit. 
Okay, let's move to Stojadin. The Stojadin, this one is, uh, was kind of restored to as near perfect as it could be. Factory as possible. This thing it's, is clean. It's I mean, a, yeah, it's right. beautiful. The engine bay and paint job, all and it might be for sale too, right? Well, it's for sale for the right astronomical price because <laughs> I kind of don't want to uh, sell it. I've offered it a, a couple times in the past, nothing ever happened. Balkan people are too cheap. When I it's say Balkan, cheap. I mean me and Pep are both from Balkans, yeah. ex Yugoslavia, and they all love the car. But when you tell them how much it costs and how much time goes into building one of these, they're like, oh, you're crazy. I can buy a BMW for that much. Yeah. But that's just the story of my life. That's why I never try to sell anything. I just <laughs> keep collecting them. Yeah. Yeah. This one, yeah, this one got, uh, you know, the full treatment. And this, I don't know how yeah. it pulls up somehow, but. Um, yeah, the, the leather interior. This one, we decided to leave the interior uh, original because it was in such good shape. Yes. We even left the headliner because uh, that's original as well, so we wanted some of the smell, the nostalgic smell. Yes, to be it definitely has there. that smell. Yeah, in the Tristach, I'll show you later, our cigarettes from <laughs> who knows when. <laughs> when I had it detailed one time, I told the guy, do not clean the ashtray. Really? Oh, yeah, I can't clean the ashtray. So, ashtrays. what brand are they? Can you tell? I couldn't tell. I had a pack of Lords, but I don't know where I found them. All right. Them. I found them on the internet. <laughs> I don't know what these guys smoke. Oh, oh damn, you're right. Yeah, they're in here, but... Like, yeah, don't, don't... Just leave them there. You're going to destroy them. Yeah, I'm not going to destroy Leave them in there. But they are in there. All right, so tell me about this one. Three stars. This is your favorite car. This thing is beautiful as well. I mean, they all are, but... This is a oh, yeah. Zastavas Mercedes. Oh, Lord, I, rem I remember. You remember, Lord? Yes. Lord, in the package. Really? In the package. Unopened. Unopened. Holy buckets. I never smoked, but I've seen people... I've seen people, yeah. Oh, yeah, smoke these all the time back home this is crazy this thing is probably worth fortune so this goes with the car you should put this and probably sell it with Stoyadin and that'll, that'll increase the value there you go I'm trying to think it was kind of the snobby uh, you know you're the, the hot product <laughs> you know you're the hot cool guy smoking Lord yes and not the Lord Lava. yeah Lord <laughs> alright so tell me about three starts uh, Tristach is my favorite uh, car of them all. It's the one that I originally wanted the most. Um, so when I found this one, a group of kids in Niche had mm -hmm. restored it. Nikola Stan uh, Stamanovic, I think, was the lead guy. His grandpa owned the car. Him and a bunch of his friends restored it, painted it uh, red. Um, as it turned out, they had a, like an almost an hour-long video of their process that I managed to watch, and then I, I wound up buying the car and then putting the two things together. Don't you realize that was the car that, that was, was in the, the YouTube? Car. Yeah, because then I was looking at parts, comparing shots to what I bought, and it turned out, yep, that was their problem. This thing is so comfortable, and the way these doors close is just, this is a Mer Zastavis Mercedes, I swear. Yeah. So comfortable. So they, they upgraded it to a five-speed. Yeah. Originally a four-speed. Yeah. And I, I think the interior may be original. I don't think they have holes for anything. Yeah. This one also has the uh, headliner intact. When oh. it first arrived in 2016, me and my friend sat inside it. And I had thought it, but all of a sudden he said it out loud. He goes, dude, it smells like Yugoslavia. For sure. I'm like, yeah, it does. I didn't uh, look at it. anything. Yep. So we need some tweezers too, but I'm guessing it's it's Lord it's cigarettes. Lord. Yeah. These are high end so, people. So yeah, high -end just color. keep, don't, Oh, there you go. How many, how many kilometers does this have? What is that, 60,000? Yeah, I don't know if yeah. that's original or not. But yeah, it's it's super nice and super comfortable. And my, this was my daughter's favorite car. She didn't like uh, old things or used uh, cars and stuff, but she yeah. loved it because it had no seat belts. All that shifting and sounds. And, and it was everything. dangerous. And she said, uh, I asked her, why do you like this car? And she said, it's because it's dangerous. <laughs> sure is. All these old cars are. And then we got the army truck. Army truck. This is, what year is this? This is a 1971. 1971. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's 1971. Like everyone used to tattoo themselves when they uh, 
to go to the army. And <laughs> My dad has one of those. Uh, see, I, I told you. <laughs> so this one, you know, uh, 71. Yugoslovenska Narodna Armia. <laughs> yep. This one I just got because of how ridiculous and crazy it is. And what I couldn't believe, we were trying to trailer it once. Uh -huh. It broke down at a car show I did in 2017 at the Monastery in Third Lake. Yep. Um, Third Lake, Illinois. And it wouldn't go. And the guys, the guy could put the feature on the, 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 the thing. It was one of those where yes. uh, it, didn't, it wasn't a full bed. Yep. So we go, all right, put this thing on next too because it, it wouldn't run. And uh, he hitched it up, and we brought it up. It has a narrower track than a feature. Really? So if you come and look. Because I had a hard time aligning my, trying to find the alignment shop. Well, because. Yeah, look how narrow it is. Oh, wow. Are. You're right. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, how can this Jeep be there for? It's oh, humongous. my God. That is. So go show them what the fuel tank is. Oh. Look at that. So Look there's at, a couple of great features. So all, here's a battery right here. Yep, big giant battery. And boom, you got and then the, the gas fuel tank, tank, is gas here. tank underneath the seat. I thought the Fiat's features were crazy because they have the battery first and the fuel tank, but at least that's up front. But no, these like back then guys weren't scared of anything. I mean, hell, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, here, here's here's the other uh, armor feature that uh, I didn't notice until oh. somebody showed me. So you get sent on a mission. They put the lock outside, and by God, you're going to succeed <laughs> <laughs> or die trying. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So there's no way out. You got to go on a mission. And here's the one that I'm picking up today. What year is this, Pep, again? This one is a 79. 79. And this is the one that needs transmission. And... It needs a transmission, and you'd be ready to go. But I'm sure you're going to do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Yep, and uh, I actually like some of your ideas. I like the sequel. So, <laughs> you know, for paint scheme, I mean, yeah, I like the idea of the. So, this car was converted to EPA or uh, natural gas, and this is where they filled them. There's a tank yeah. for uh, propane or for propane or. Yep. What do you call it? TNG or it's compressed yep. natural, natural Nat gas? Yeah, natural gas. But the funny part is, is the price of this fuel here uh, in America it's is extremely way yes, expensive. Then gas. Taxes, and you, yes. And you have to fill it up in a car dispenser. Yep. Uh, but gas is cheap here in America yes. compared to over there. So yeah, this one was converted to a natural gas and here's the... Yeah, pump, took, I'm we guessing. Took it, off. it ran on gas yep. much the whole time. And, uh, I tried to use it as a range extender, but it, 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 <laughs> it didn't, didn't work, work out. It didn't work too good. I love the there. hitch. The hitch is oh, actually yeah. just connected to the bridge back, and <laughs> I don't think it can pull much, but it's just cool to have it. I might even leave it on. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't know. For now, I'm just going to leave it, but when I decide to redo the car, paint it, I'm going to have to delete this. It's, I got killer deal on it, thanks to Pep, and I just couldn't say no. And just the car reminds me of back home. Even I have Fiat 600, which is pretty much, this is a clone of Fiat, but it's just, uh, it was made back home and I had to have it. And uh, we're gonna put in the trailer now and go back home. I think you're gonna love it. Oh, I can see by the smile oh, hell on yeah. your face, I have a smile <laughs> on my face. I'm so happy for you. Well, thanks, I man. took a bath on it, but what do you want? It needs he to lost. Have... He actually lost tons of money on this yeah, car. Believe it or not, he yeah. did. The shipping is what. The, the shipping is what is kills. Tough. Yeah, but I think now there's companies that do it for cheaper than back in the day, and and I guess you have to have a good guy. Well, I found of, cheaper guys. Cheaper but guys. I found guys that said they haven't seen their cars. They haven't seen the cars, <laughs> so that's what scares me. That scares me because I would have went yeah. with cheaper, no doubt. Yeah. This one has a 767cc engine. I think they put out yeah, 30, 32, or what was it, 28? I, I even forgot. 20. 28, I think. And uh, I got a hot little engine for it. And uh, I think I'm just gonna put that transmission on for this motor and see how it goes. And just drive the hell out of it till I decide to tear it all apart. And then that takes me years. I'm so picky about everything. I think me and my dad are just gonna throw in this one. So this is, uh, yep, that's it. Well, thanks, Pep, for showing me around and all your cars. 
Yeah. I'm glad well, we, for we finally met.